Our Team 7 coverage continues now with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner live in Madison Heights tonight with the concern of the impact of the rain on the ongoing contamination crisis there. Jim? This is a decades old building and a potential serious problem. Take a look at how they've patched the front and the roof to try to keep the rain out. The EPA is here around the clock. We're probably going to get water in the pit because the building is not totally uh, tight yet. Well, and now we're back to square but, one where but, we were before the holidays. The same, by the same token, we're still removing fluid. We're still pumping fluid. Take a look at before and after pictures of the pit, the vat that was cleaned up by the EPA after the business was shut down by the state in 2016. The vat was drained and flushed twice, we are told, but still caused the widespread contamination with water rushing into the building. This is the source of the green ooze, a carcinogen, hexavalent, chromium. Their job was to remove the immediate threat. and they, But here we are today. It was the immediate threat. Did they do enough? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question because for the immediate threat two years ago. Was enough done? No. But did EPA come in and do what the guidelines of an emergency cleanup specified? Yes, they so did. So is the problem the guidelines? The problem yes. may be the guideline. Those local politicians were given a tour inside and down into the basement of the vat. The whole thing here is actually concrete, except in the middle, that was dug out, and this is where the pit was, and this is exactly where the pit is right today. We're now told that the PFAS was also found here after water was pumped out of the vat with a big sump pump. The PFAS was tested 10 times the safety level for Michigan groundwater. This is a game changer. Um, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's another, uh, I guess it's another play in the game. Um, there's a lot of contaminants on this site. Um, we expected that PFAS would be there. We want to ensure that we contain as many as we can as quickly as we can. So could there be more contaminated water on the inside? They've removed 15,000 gallons over the last three weeks. We're told the PFAS poses no threat to municipal water, but they're going to expand that testing as well. We asked if we could have a tour inside. The EPA told us no. That video came from Kim Clark from the Madison Heights City Council. Reporting live, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim. And with the